everybody, uh, welcome, this is Nicholas Jason Lopez, I am the owner, editor-in-chief of a little website you might know called PressingOpinion.com, we give you everything, segment by segment breakdown of various shows on the independent circuit, as well as the mainstream WWE, uh, GFW slash Impact slash TNA. They go by like eight different names now. Who can even keep track? But we got it. There's also West Coast Wrestling Connection. We also got NXT. A whole bunch of Raw and SmackDown. And Lord knows WWE has about 8,000 shows. We got them all. Um, there's a bunch of other stuff on there too. Ring of Honor, Lucha Underground. Uh, most recently, we just did Powerbomb.tv. Break the Barrier 2017, which was a success, I would call it. But yeah, for all your wrestling needs, feel free to check out the site. We just published uh, a review of Justin Roberts' book, uh, Best Seat in the House. So uh, if you want to check it out and you're a book fanatic, feel free, read some more. And uh, today is kind of a, a special day. As all of you are, are gearing up for your, for your Independence Day weekend celebration, fiesta, I'm sure you got all the, the greasy goodness from hamburgers and, and cheeseburgers and chicken wings and whatever else spells America, but um, I do have a special guest. Um, some of you might be familiar with them, uh, if you recall uh, an interview we did last year with one special promotion called Dynamo Pro Wrestling. Uh, I'm going to give him the chance to introduce himself to all of you guys, and uh, let's get this show underway. Oh, I'm doing wonderful, sir. For those of you that may be familiar may not be familiar with Dynamo Pro Wrestling, I'm Duke Roberts, I'm the media relations director, and also one of the voices of Dynamo Pro Wrestling, the premier professional wrestling organization in the St. Louis metropolitan area. Recently, just celebrating our 10th year anniversary, and so you say, with people that enjoy professional wrestling, you enjoy your 4th of July, you were talking about all the great things that we get to experience here in America uh, on July 4th, the great thing that's been able for people here in the St. Louis area to experience is going to be Dynamo Pro Wrestling. We've been said before, been around for a better part of 10 years now, and we're going to continue to bring the best in professional wrestling to the wrestling fans in the Midwest. Yeah, uh, 10 years, that's a really, really long time. I mean, we've gone from the birth of MySpace to practically social media is pretty much all around us right now. And, you know, same with WWE. Um, if you look at their landscape of main eventers, it's completely different now. Of course, they brought back the little brand split. But a lot has happened between 2007 and 2017. Uh, what would you say are some of the highlights of this past decade? Well, in, in Dynamo Pro Wrestling, there's been a lot of, a lot of major accomplishments. One of the big things I would have to say is not only uh, the current wrestling talent that are out throughout this area, but also the, uh, one of the biggest things to me is the Dynamo Pro Dojo. The opportunity for individuals, both male and female, Wanting the opportunity to become professional wrestler, referee, timekeepers, announcer, you name it. I mean, again, when you look at some of the wrestlers that have come through the Dynamo Pro Dojo and seen the a level of success, I mean, they've traveled to the UK, they've traveled to Japan, they've traveled to Mexico, they've traveled to Canada, they've traveled to Italy. I mean, they've traveled all around the world becoming the best in professional wrestling. And what's the common denominator of it all? They all had the opportunity to be a part of it. They, they were trained by the Dynamo Pro Dojo. Another thing I would say was very important in the last 10 years would be the resurgence of tag team wrestling. There were a lot of promotions, not just in the St. Louis area, but throughout the country that have kind of lost sight of the sport of tag team wrestling. There are a lot of great tag teams that have had the opportunity to compete not just on an independent level, but on a national and international level. And Dynamo Pro Wrestling has made 
Cup of Your Nation to bring back and establish a very reputable tag team division. Uh, lastly, one of the big things I would have to say is the emergence in the last year or so of the Dynamo Pro G1 division. We had a series of matches that took place in the tail end of 2015. We crowned our inaugural champion in 2016. And since that point in time, it gave a lot of people an opportunity to make the jump into the, the main title picture within Dynamo Pro. You have Outcast, the former Dynamo Pro tag team champion, having an opportunity to hold that championship on two occasions and establish himself once again as a key heavyweight contender for pretty much any championship he chooses. And right now, the current Dynamo Pro D1 champion, Unbreakable Michael Elgin. I mean, the name and the reputation precede the current Dynamo Pro D1 champion. I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of professional wrestling companies feel fortunate to have a year or two years behind them. Dynamo Pro is fortunate for each and every day that we can bring professional wrestling to the wrestling fan. Ten years, it's still going strong. Yeah, uh, certainly Elgin is a big name, uh, can't dispute that. Um, as far as what 2017 has brought so far, um, how would you describe the year, and maybe what's, what else is to come? I know you got a, a big array of shows going on recently, um, tell us a little bit about that. Well, like I say, 2017 literally started off with a bang, and that was Michael Elgin becoming the Dynamo Pro D1 champion. I mean, that was in, in February, uh, Mardi Gras Mayhem in Alton, Illinois. And since that point in time, 2017 has probably been kind of a, a new year, a new generation, if you will, for Dynamo Pro Wrestling. The idea of, right at the tail end of 2016, Brandon Aaron, graduate, the first graduate of the Dynamo Pro Dojo, becomes the Dynamo Pro Heavyweight Champion. Then you go with the idea of having Michael Elgin becoming the Dynamo Pro D1 Champion. And now, as you said before, we've got a couple of events coming up, but right now, we're right in the middle of the Riot on the River series. For those that aren't familiar with the Riot on the River series, it is a series of three events that are being held at the Loading Dock Barn Mill in Grafton, Illinois. And what will happen as a conclusion of our, our three events, which will be on uh, Friday night, August 4th, will be the conclusion. We will actually be crowning the first ever Riot on the River champion. And right now, we're down to the semifinals, which will be taking place this Friday. And a lot of people have been sending me emails and texts and all sorts of things, wanting to know thoughts, opinions on the semi-final matches. I mean, to look at it, you have Brandon Aaron, Dynamo Pro Heavyweight Champion, taking on former multi-time Dynamo Pro Tag Team Champion, uh, member of High Level Enterprise, John Webb, this match has the potential of being a match of the year candidate. When you have John Webb, who's been to Japan, who's traveled the globe wrestling, Inside the squared circle, as you say, is the Dynamo Pro heavyweight champion. Also, in the same ring, cross from one another, that has to be a match that a lot of people are going to be glued on with a lot of intensity. But then you go to the other half of the bracket. And up until a few weeks ago, it was scheduled to be a gentleman by the name of White Out Adrian Surge, a man who's really starting to make huge noise in the Midwestern United States, taking on the Wind of Destruction McCarthy, a man who pretty much been around Dynamo Pro since day one, and really made a, a resurgence in 2017, having a lot of great matchups, and really moving up the ranks. Unfortunately, due to an injury that happened just a few short days ago, McCarthy has had to withdraw from the Dynamo Pro Riot on the River Tournament. And what we'll be having this Friday night is a qualifying match to take on my out Adrian Surge. And the two men that are going to be competing, I'm going to tell you right now that two great competitors. On one side of the ring, you're going to have Outcast, 
former Dynamo Pro D1 champion on two occasions, former multi-time Dynamo Pro tag team champion, a man who can go out there, he can wrestle, he can fly, he can ball, he can do it all. And across the ring from him, I have to say, now the biggest wild card in the tournament is the Roman Dynasty Karim Regante. Here's a man Rome, Italy, the man just exudes power and confidence, is very well versed inside the squared circle. And you also have to figure in his manager, Ms. Monica, as well. This tournament, in the last few days, has completely changed. I'm going to tell you right now. This Friday night, at the Looney Dock, at Lion on the River, the second stage, the wrestling fans of Dynamo Pro Wrestling need to make sure they get their ticket early, make sure they get as close to the action as they can, because I'm going to tell you right now, this Friday night is going to be an epic night in Dynamo Pro. Certainly does sound like it has the ingredients for a good time. Um, certainly can't argue that point. Um, but I do have one question. Um, looking as we're Oh, about seven months into 2017 so far. Has there been anybody on the roster who has kind of dominated the scene or might be a reason to check out, you know, DPW or any 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 sign of a breakout star on the horizon? Oh, I can tell you, Nick, there's a lot of wrestlers who really made the point to step out and really make their, their intentions known in 2017. That immediately comes to mind, a gentleman by the name of CJ Shine. He has become really quickly one of the most popular competitors inside Dynamo Pro Wrestling. Opportunity, the man comes to the ring, he's always smiling, he's always dancing, he's always enjoying life. And his infectious personality just goes to the fans. When you have an opportunity to talk to the fans at Dynamo Pro Wrestling events, they're always in a good mood when they get the opportunity to talk to CJ Shine. Another one that really has stood out in the last few months to me uh, has been a gentleman by the name of Frodo the Ghost Meyer. Now, a lot of wrestling fans, not just in uh, the Metropolitan, but a lot of fans throughout this country need to get familiar with one Frodo Meyer. Now, they're going to sit there and say, oh, all well, the name, da 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 First thing you're going to notice is the guy comes to the ring with a great big giant green mohawk. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I think you, that we've had an opportunity to talk on many occasions. Do you impress yourself to be a huge wrestling fan? Right? Oh, yeah, of course. They're watching me. <laughs> well, I said, when you see a man coming to the ring with a big giant green mohawk, you would sit there and go, okay, this is something I've got to pay attention to. It's kind of like one of the things you sit there, you got to take a double take. But once Frodo Meyer gets in the ring, this man leaves it on the table. I mean, again, he's been in single match, he's been in tag team action. I'm going to tell you right now, 2017, you may not have started the year by knowing the name Frodo the Ghost Meyer, but I'm going to tell you right now, definitely a need to keep on on the Adrian Church, a man who's already had an opportunity for the Dynamo Pro Heavyweight Championship. He had the opportunity to get continue to keep his presence known. Uh, recently defeated uh, Elvis Aliaga to keep his name definitely in the title picture in Dynamo Pro Wrestling. And you got to say, a victory in the Wyatt on the River Tournament could very easily give him that opportunity to say, hey, I deserve another shot at the Dynamo Pro Heavyweight Championship. And also, something you don't hear a lot is professional wrestling. Are the women of Dynamo Pro Wrestling, if you heard me right, the women have returned to Dynamo Pro Wrestling. I'm going to tell you, Nick, uh, we're going to have an opportunity this Friday night to see two of the up-and-coming women in Dynamo Pro Wrestling, Savannah Stone and Lane Victoria. I'm going to tell you right now, these two ladies are part of a mixed tag team matchup last month at Lion on 